into my making stuff with clay video <laughs> it's very professional me and um, so i have got this oh with a tea stain on it that i forgot was there i had a cup of tea the other day and spilled and put it on top like a coaster because uh, i'm super professional i have a rolling pin and then i have really professional shapes for me to uh cut the clay out with different circle sizes and different heart sizes and also this which is meant to be for measures of spirits but makes nice circles in that size um, and then as well as all of those things i have all the little letter stamps to pop in now if you're wondering what on earth i'm trying to make i will show you um i'm getting gifts making gifts and also charms so if you have seen my planner actually i can show you now i'm no i'm no expert at this i've done this for one day previously <laughs> um i've made myself this charm that says cozy and you can kind of see but not really on the camera for some reason but it's like iridescent glitter which is really nice in real life um and it says cozy in pink on there i also made some halloween which i'll insert pictures of because i got i don't know where they are um and then I'm making these little gifts so this one was this is for me <laughs> I, it was a prototype so this is my wedding anniversary and then i also have made this for a friend um, and that again is this iridescent glitter but you can't really see it on camera um for their christmas tree and then i'm also just making these little cute decoration ones for my sons to decorate so it's an activity for us to do um and then lastly i am going to make this is another one but this was the first one i did and it's really wonky but that's my friend's wedding anniversary um and then this is again it needs finishing off but gift tag for christmas so we've got gift tag ornaments um charms anything you can really make with this air dry clay and i think this air dry clay is like five pounds six pounds or something like that um i'll link it below with an affiliate link so if you want to go on it and use that link feel free to it's not going to cost you any extra it just gives me like a tiny little percentage i think as like a referral code so um i'm going to do this i'm going to roll it out cut out loads of different shapes and i'm also going to create some um presents for my son's teachers because i feel like um that might be a nice thing to do it might not but these are some other charms that i've made for people's christmas presents this one's not finished this one is um and they're by no means perfect but i like to add a personalized touch to things and this is what i'm doing today so i'll pop you on time lapse if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i will see where this turns out it might be awful if it is never mind we all learn and that's okay <laughs> okay let's see how this goes few like names and tags and stuff i'm now trying to figure out how to attach gold foil to this little bit of snow i'm gonna call it we're gonna have gold snow <laughs> this is my tester and actually it's a bit stupid really because that's a really large area to try it with but essentially i bought this which isn't a lot from um aliexpress 
I was going to use it on my nails before I found somebody who would do my nails. So, oh, to be fair, it's not. It's just called Lee. So let's ooh, see if I can figure out how to paint it on. Oh, okay, so I've just used glue, but I think I might speckle it. Yeah, okay, it's going to look better speckled as opposed to like a sheet. Oh, this is cute. So I'll just put PVA glue on. Hopefully I'm in shot here. Yeah, okay, I'm going to zoom right in. Right. Okay. So, yeah, I think it was only a few pounds because I mean, essentially, it's is it? I don't think it's real. I don't know. I don't know if it's real gold or not. But basically, it's foil, isn't it? <laughs> but um, much more delicate. So I bought this and I thought it will look nice on decorations, and lo and behold, it actually does look really nice. So I'm really pleased with this. I'm gonna put it on. Ooh, no. I'm gonna put it on this decoration. I think this is going to be one that I keep and then I'm also going to put it on my sister's which I didn't realize I was doing until I just had the idea which is um her salon if you live in the Manchester area she has a hair salon in um Romilly and it's amazing I've literally and it's not because she's my sister it's just bloody incredible um it's such a vibe in there and there's no bitchiness um everyone in there just feels like a proper queen and I'm just really really pleased to have like not to have found it because obviously it's my sister's salon but like to know somewhere that I can go where I don't feel self-conscious like because I'm not I'm not a beauty person like I've always been put off by going to places like salons because I just feel a little bit out of place I'm just going to coat this maybe this is not a good idea but I'm just I think it's just going to move it all around in actual fact um but yeah, it's such a beautiful salon um, and my sister obviously has looked and bought off and has had really hard times throughout COVID and everything. Um, so yeah, if you live near there and you want to have an incredible haircut and an even better colour, um, check it out. It's amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful salon. Okay, I love that how this has looked and I hope that when it dries, it just looks as good as it does now. <laughs> There's still some on my brush. I feel like I want to try and get it off. The clay, by the way, is not dry yet. But I'm too impatient and this video needs to go up. So if I just bring this up here, you can see that that looks like this. I'm going to glaze over this in Mod Podge and also some like iridescent stuff. And I'm going to probably paint, try and paint, or at least define somehow the trees. But this decoration is for my tree. It's got gold stars on the top and gold leaf on the bottom. So that is one, and like I said, I'm going to gold leaf this one, which is the House of Colour one. I'm not sure how much um, I'm going to do, so I'll put you on time lapse and we'll figure it out. Okie dokie, so these have been drying for a few days and I've just been trying to figure out what's the best way for me to do things with them. I usually use 
these acrylic paint markers um but i've just tried to do it with the theo tag and it's a little bit clumsy a little bit messy because the nibs are quite wide so then i've tried with my um uniball signo gold for my gran that's like a lot neater so i'm just giving a couple of goes and like the same thing with this i've just done the little heart there on that one so i'm just trying silver on these trees but i'm not sure what the best way to do it last time i did it when i did this one it's a lot it looks better because it's paint it's actual paint so maybe i need to use paint um and i used a really really fine tip on like a nail art brush so i might need to just have a look, quick look but i'm gonna just in fact no i'm gonna go and see if i've got another one of those brushes and then we'll see it go from there Hang on. no i haven't got one anymore i'm not sure where they've gone but they have gone so these are like the next best thing i guess oh, and the jelly rolls would probably be quite good but have i got a silver one i mean i probably have I've got this oh what's this one this green sparkle pop this would probably be quite good for these trees but i'm gonna not, not gonna go in with a heavy color so yeah i'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to get in there now that i haven't got paint um so i'm gonna have a quick look through my pencil cases and see what my options are Got like um permanent marker but again the really thick nibs so I haven't got any jelly roll pens in there I'm sure I would have had a gold one somewhere but I also have these zebra gel sticks so again while going with one of these but these are probably very similar to this they might just be slightly thicker oh no they're actually thinner so this might be better it's just obviously you've got to make contact so if it's got like a deeper part then it's tricky but that's actually working okay I wonder how it'll work with the lettering I'm not, not sure whether to go with gold or silver because when I did this one, I did grey and I really liked it. And now I've put the gold leaf, I feel like obviously I'm going to have to go with gold. So let's try it with the gold one from here. I'll try it with the light gold, like the yellow gold, and then I'll, if it doesn't quite pick up, I'll go with this bronzy one. So I'm going to try it with, let's leave this tree one out to the side for a minute. I'll do Grayson's because that's just for my son, so it can be a bit of a tester. Okay. So this is the look like yellowy gold. And that actually does go in quite far. I think this will probably be the one, to be honest. Yeah. It's only trouble with hand making stuff, like if you've not got the tours. With all the will in the world it's not gonna look exactly how you want it to look but basically i wanted to do the lettering today because i've got to give these to the people tomorrow so i want to do the lettering and then i'm going to mod podge over the top and i'm not sure whether i'm just going to mod podge it clear or mod podge it with this like iridescent glitter which is where have i got it where have i got it put it somewhere but basically it's yeah it's a glitter that's that you can uh it's very slight so i'm not sure which i'm gonna do but i will figure it out oh here it is okay this one it's very light and you just mix it in with the mod podge and it like very very slightly just makes it feel a bit more special i don't know if it's picking up just gives it a little texture as well so i think i probably will use that but yeah, I think this gold is the one. I'm going to try it with Planner Girl because this one's mine and I really want it to be good, but it's not as high a priority. I oh, see now. The, the letters, I've done them too deep when I've stamped them. 
It's not going in. Like somewhere. Unless I like, I can't break this pen apart either. Otherwise it would probably go in further because of it's hitting there. Like where it does go, it's fine, but it's not, it's not going all the way in. That's annoying. Hmm. Can I get the pen out at the end? Yeah, I can't get it out. So yeah, this would be okay. If I could get into all the letters. So, some of them are fine. <laughs> Right, that L, there's no way I'm getting down into there, even if I did the pen. So that is a le lesson. Don't stamp down too hard with your letters. How annoying. Um, I'm going to have the same problem then. So the only thing I can do then is get like a little paper clip and somehow decant ink. So probably with these paints, <clears throat> and it's going to be a very time consuming process. But I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? I can't just leave it with like half the letters done. I think this one will be fine. Apart from that C and that R. I haven't stamped too deep on those. Even the R seems to be kind of wide enough. So anyway, I'll time lapse you. This is going to be a lengthy process. Okie dokie. So I've done them as best I can. They're not perfect, but they're just going to have to be what they are. I'm now going to put this Mod Podge in this little lid here. Ooh, it's going to need probably a lot. And then I'm going to sprinkle a lot of that in there as well and probably end up a bit more. And what we're going to do is just going to mix it up. And we're going to just cut this. <laughs> it's very technical and there'll be people out there going, no. That's not how, um, but it's how I do it. Um, that's the twice that I've done it. It's how I've done it. Um, it might end up actually. I'm gonna do this one, and then wait, hair dryer it. I think and see because I don't know if this glittery stuff is gonna cover up. Because obviously you can see here it's covered up the um, gold leaf. So I don't know if that's gonna recover. So I'm going to go and hair dryer this one and see what happens. And then if it doesn't work, then obviously Mod Podge only on the teacher teacher tags. Okay. Right, let's go and see how this turns out. Be right back. Okay, so we're really glad that I tried that on this one because I've ruined it. Um, it it's nearly dry pretty much, but it does the the glitter does cover up the gold leaf. So that one is kind of pooped now, and I'm gonna just do just do Mod Podge on these. Be right back. So in standard Holly fashion, I bought some really nice twine, like silver twine, to do this with, and I've lost it. So I might end up finding it and replacing it but for now I have this red and white parcel twine which just will not have the same effect so it's really bugging me I have to go and have a really good look now but basically I'm gonna thread them and then put them in these little um favor bags and that's gonna be um and then I'm gonna put a little poem inside about teaching um and just do that because teachers 
obviously they appreciate gifts but i don't know their teachers we've literally never ever met like not met them properly we've had two phone calls the entire year um and i just don't know them i don't know what they like i don't know what they are like as people <laughs> um i literally just don't know so i'm gonna just do a generic gift this year and uh something that they can hang on the tree or not or throw away because it wasn't uh, you know a lot of money it was just a little a couple of hours <laughs> not hours it was just some handmade gifts so if they appreciate handmade gifts they'll like it if they don't they can throw it away without you know any badness on their conscience because it doesn't really cost anything to make so yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try and find the other twine um because that would look better so bear with me okay so it turns out i've lost the other one now <laughs> i was gonna say oh no here it is i thought i'd bought silver um i haven't or maybe i haven't i just genuinely can't find that one it's very possible i've made it up though my head is so far up christmas is but right now that i don't know whether i'm coming or going but i have found this christmas ooh, christmas twine three pack which is slimmer and i'm going to use this literally like brown paper twine because i think they're quite rustic looking they don't look any kind of professional um and they don't quite go with these and i don't know what people's color scheme are so this is more neutral so i'm going to literally just do that now on time lapse and then pop them in the bags um i'm going to take them back out so grayson can write on the back um to you know and she doesn't even need to write to we can just put from grayson 2021 save his little effort because he doesn't like writing anyway but yeah, I'm going to do that now and put you on time lapse. Apologies that these are randomly on my weekly spread i've just filmed that video but i have tied some twine on i popped them in a little bag um, and they're ready to go i wish i'd had gold bags because gold and silver mixing stresses me out but i'm now just going to print off a quick poem um laminate it i think and then attach it to here somehow and those little teacher gifts are ready to go hope you enjoyed this video i know this is not it didn't turn out like i wanted but as with all things diy the first time you do it but it was the thought that counts, hopefully, and my son will be writing on the backs of the years, his name and the year. Um, so hopefully the teachers will appreciate it. <laughs> See you on the next video, guys. Bye.